everyone welcome to them came now today's video is an ionic bonding part 8 video and here we are going to deal with different types of lattices and applications of radius ratio which are being left now in the previous video we had done two applications already here we will do another two there are already seven videos uploaded in channel which you can watch it I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video and if you are new to Gemkim, do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Now let us start. So since we are dealing with ionic bonding, so here we have ionic compounds. And these ionic compounds basically exist in form of crystal lattice. And these lattices are actually regular repetitive arrangement of points in space. These points can be ions, molecules and any other things. We will deal with close packing of hard spheres. Whenever there is a close packing of hard spheres, there is also a creation of hole in it. And these holes are already being covered in solid state video. If you want to watch it, I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present about this video. Now, first lattice of discussion is sodium chloride lattice. Here, the sodium chloride crystallizes in face centered cubic lattice where each of these ions, that is cations and anions, occupies octahedral hole created by the counter ions. And the coordination number in these cases for sodium plus and Cl minus is 6 and 6. And the other examples for these lattices are lithium bromide, rubidium iodide, sodium fluoride and potassium chloride. Next lattice of discussion is cesium chloride lattice or cesium chloride structure. Here cesium chloride actually has each cations and anions placed in cubic holes created by counter ions and the coordination number in this case is actually 8 since it is a cube and the structures is adopted by also CSBR that is cesium bromide, cesium iodide, NH4Cl, NH4Br, NH4I, thallium chloride and thallium bromide. The next one is zinc blend and woodside structure. This is very important. ZNS actually crystallizes in both of these two distinct structures. Where zinc blend structure is cubic in nature, whereas woodside structure is hexagonal in nature. And these cations and anions actually occupy the tetrahedral holes. The coordination number if you observe is 4 for both cations and anions. And if you see here, this coordination number is much lower. As a result of which, there is much structured voids present in it. There is more and more space. So, this structure is known as open structure. So, structure is often called an open structure as coordination number is low and there is greater amount of void space. The other examples of these structures are cadmium sulfide and mercuric sulfide. Next, structure which we are going to deal with is fluoride structure which is very important. In fluoride structure calcium fluoride crystallizes and the lattice is 1 is to 2. That is there is a 1 cation with respect to 2 anions. And if we consider about occupancy then the cations occupies the cubic hole. The coordination number of cation is 8 whereas the coordination number of anion is 4. So, if you see here, the coordination number increases as there is more number of F2, right? So, the coordination number of cation is more than coordination number of anions. And other examples of this is SRF2, BAF2 and ZrO2. In antifluoride structure, this is another lattice. The case is just the opposite as that of the fluoride structure. Here, there is more number of cations and less number of anions. As a result of which, Coordination number of cations is much lesser than coordination number of anions. So see here, if the number and position of the cations and anions are interchanged, then the antifluoride structure is obtained. The coordination number of cation is 4, whereas coordination number of anions is 8. And the structure is adapted also by Li2O, Na2O, K2O and Rb2O. All the oxides generally occupy antifluoride structure. The last structure of our discussion is rutile structure. What happens here? Mainly this structure is being occupied by titanium oxide TiO2 
Each cation occupy octahedral holes and anions occupies a planar trigonal holes created by counter ions. And other examples are SNO2, PbO2, VO2 and MnO2. There are more examples but these are sufficient. Now using these different kinds of lattice we will be able to predict the geometry of crystals. So let us see what are the geometries of crystals. So this is actually application of radius ratio. We have to implement both radius ratio as well as the geometries which have already been seen while discussing the different kinds of crystal lattice. First if we consider a easy one for AB 1 is to 1 type lattice. What will be its structure name? So radius ratio is being given as 0 0.625. In which range does it lie? If we refer to the chart which was being provided in the ionic bonding part 6 video then you can see here 0 0.625 lies between 0 0.414 to 0 0.732. So what must be the coordination number of cation? It must be 6 octahedral we will consider. So what we get is therefore the coordination number of cation is 6 and we can see that the lattice type is 1 is to 1. So we can see the coordination type is 1 is to 1 right. So the number of cations must be equal to the number of anions. So the anion number coordination will also be equal to 6. As a result of which we can see that it is a compound with 6 is to 6 ratio. So we can conclude that it is a NaCl structure because NaCl also has a coordination number of 6 for cation and coordination number of 6 for anion. Next we will deal with another example where it is given that it is a it is a AB2 lattice 1 is to 2 type lattice. SRF2 is given radius of cation is given radius of anion is given. So we have to explain what should be the structure. So remember how to take out the radius ratio it is radius of cation by radius of anion. So this is our radius ratio which is being obtained right and this 0.837 lies between which amount that is 0.732 to 1. So what is the coordination number of cation? It must be 8 right. So it is having a cubic structure but we will not consider it from here we will consider it from the problem. So we can write it as coordination number of SR2 plus is 8. So we can see here it is 1 is to 2 type. Right. So the coordination number of SR2 plus is 8. So the coordination number of anion must be half of it. So it is actually 4. Just like the case we have seen previously in different types of lattices. As a result it is an 8 is to 4 compound. So this assumes actually fluoride structure. Similarly there are two questions for you. Try to solve these questions on your own where we have taken SNO2 where radius ratio is given and in this case K2O where radius ratio is not given. You have to find out and then write down what structure does it as you. So take a screenshot. Next we are going to deal with the tendency of cation to form hydrated salt. Why generally these cations undergo formation of hydrated salt. If you see here anhydrous Li2CO3 is thermally unstable and even at room temperature it dissociates to form lithium oxide and CO2. This is unlike the case of anhydrous Li2ClO4 where the molecule is stabilized in form of water of crystallization in spite of fact that for both radius ratio is very low. So what we can see that anhydrous Li2CO3 is thermally also unstable and at room temperature dissociates to form Li2O and CO2. Whereas Li2ClO4 though it has same radius ratio but gets stabilized with help of water of crystallization. Why this is so? So if you see here in lithium carbonate the radius of lithium plus is much much less than radius of carbonate there will be inefficient packing in the crystal lattice right and the lattice will be unstable which is already being seen. So for this reason the small lithium plus can readily polarize this CO3 2 minus radical 
weakening the carbon oxygen bond hence this causes a rupture of one of this carbon oxygen bond in the carbonate and thus the formation of these two whereas if we consider for li2clo4 in this case similar situation that is radius of lithium plus is much much lesser than radius of chlorate ion in efficient packing occurring and the lattice will be unstable but in this case you have to remember for a chlorate there is clo bond and the clo bond will not undergo cleavage as there is a greater pi bond character present in it as compared to the carbon oxygen bond in case of lithium carbonate okay thus for gaining stability what happens is that lithium plus absorbs moisture from air and undergoes solvation leading to formation of a large sized lithium water compound like this under this condition the size of cation and anions becomes comparable and as a result packing becomes more efficient thereby stabilizing the compound with water of crystallization similarly anhydrous mgclo4 are unstable but still they do not break because also there is a formation of hydrated compound right so this was today's topic of discussion in the next video we will deal with fajan's rule of polarization so hope this was helpful thank you for watching do not forget to like share subscribe and comment